Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, we're going to see how to add this uh, flying bird that you can see in here using Adobe Photoshop. So we're going to see how to create this and actually how to make it loop forever. This is actually a follow up of the last tutorial that I did. So after that, I added this uh, looping flying bird in here. And then I thought it would be nice to make a tutorial about it. All right, so let's get to it. All right, first, if you want to help support this channel, check out Envato Element and also the sponsor of this video. Envato Element is a must have library for all creators out there. With a vast library of resources available in Envato Element, you can save time and effort and money. With their unlimited downloads of premium design and stock templates, including print templates, graphics, photos, and intros for your video too, and also royalty free audio tracks. And to get all of these assets at once, you only need one subscription. So if Envato Elements is for you, you can get a 50% discount of an annual subscription. So instead of paying $33 for a monthly plan, you'll be paying only $16 and a half per month for an annual plan. You can check them out today using the link down in the video description. All right, so let's go ahead and open Photoshop. And as you can see, I already have uh, the image from the, the last video opening here. Uh, we're gonna use actually the same image as I said in the beginning. So I already have the file of the final image open. So we only need to have the, the model and also the flowers and we're not gonna use this bird because we're gonna make a video that would be a, a bird flying in here. So to do that, we need to actually make the model in a PNG or on a transparent background. So I will just uh, hide the background and also hide the bird uh, group in here. And then I will uh, make a stamp visible layer by pressing Control Shift Alt E all together or Command Shift Option E all together. And as you can see, this will make a stamp visible layer. Now we have the model and the flowers on a separate transparent layer in here. Now uh, we need the background, so I will just hide all this in here and we'll end up with the background. Or you know, I can just delete everything in here and we will use the same documents in here. It's already in a square and uh, the image size that uh, we have is uh, around uh, 3000 by 3000, so it's okay. So let's me actually, all right, so now we have the model in here so let's name this model and we have the background all right so we're gonna use uh, the video of uh, the flying bird uh, the video I got it from Envato Elements by the way it's uh, in a very good quality as you can see and it's already in a black background and I like that in here it's drinking water so we can uh, use the same the same shape in here as the flower and it will be like he's eating from the flower. All right, so I will make sure to put the link uh, for this one in the description below so you can download it. All right, so let's go ahead and open the, the video. So I will go to my document or my file and I already have the video in here. So we'll take it and open it in the same document in here, as you can see. All right, so I will press enter because it will open in a smart object. Now we'll double click on this video in here and this will open in a new tab. And now we can edit it because I want it to be looped and I only want a part of the video. So to do that, we need to open the timeline down in here. If you can't find the timeline in here, you can just go to window and make sure that timeline is checked. All right. Now in the timeline in here, we need to make a copy of the of this video uh, so but before we're gonna do that we, I want uh, the video to start actually in this area in here because I don't want it to be coming flying like that so I want, I want it to start just from here so I will just take this and bring it 
right here all right so now it will start from here and then go and I want it to end in here I don't want it to fly back I just want it to stay like that all right so somewhere around here and we will make it loop again all right so I will bring this just right here and now we have this like that all right now I'm gonna create a copy of this so I will take this and make a copy of it so let me delete actually let me take these two videos and put them outside of the group and delete this group and now I can have the two videos on top of each other like that all right now we have these uh, two copies of the video now uh, I, I will go to the middle of this second copy that we we made and I will go to exact the center or the middle of the video and then I will split it by one click on this scissor icon in here and this will uh, split it now be because we we split this this frame it will match this frame so all we're gonna do is to take this one and bring it to start from the beginning and we're gonna take the ending of this one and make it in the end so this way when when it will loop it will actually have the same frame for both of them all right but we don't need to be all this long because we want it actually to to fade and go to the video so I will take this and put it just right here and then I will cut like that and I will delete this part and I will do the same for this one in here I will take this timeline and bring it just right here and then I will select this part and I will cut and I will delete this one now we'll have it started from here and it will loop and it starts again from here but before we're gonna actually uh, play it we need to add a, a fade in the ending of these two videos in here so to add a fade you just one click on this effect icon in here and drag this fade and apply it on this one and also drag it and apply it in the ending of this one now we can play our video and see how it looks like so let's press the space bar in here all right as you can see it's faded but it's actually looping forever and that's what we want it will keep going like this all right so we have our looping video ready now we need to save it so we're gonna press ctrl or command s on our keyboard and because it's a smart object it will save to the other documents in here as you can see now we have the same uh, video save in here now uh, we're gonna one click on this create video timeline and the first thing that we are going to do is to take this model from the timeline in here not in the layers so this is actually layers in the timelines but it work with the with the duration all right so the duration of this layer it's stop in here and as you can see if i go beyond it it will disappear so we need to make it matching with the with the video so let's take it and drag it in here and then this will make it match and we'll do the same for the background group now i think the the group is not we need to open it first so let's open the group and then I will take this one and bring it here and I will take the other file or layer and take it here and I can collapse it again all right so we have our looping video ready to be used so I will actually now try to blend it together so I will select this hummingbird video and I will make the opacity down to around 70 so I can see where I want to exact to place it exactly so we'll zoom in a little bit and then I'm gonna press ctrl or command t and I can rotate it and I want this water container to be right in the in the flowers in here so somewhere around here and this will allow me to to blend the bird better let's make it a little bit smaller 
and rotate it more all right somewhere around here all right i think this will work so i will just press enter or i think it will look a little bit bigger all right so i think this is fine so i will bring back the opacity to 100 percent and then the the trick to blend the the video with the with the background or with the with the image is actually to use the blend if option because the blend if option it will work also with the video so to do that we just gonna double click on it it's like you're gonna apply it on any normal layer so just double click on it and it will open the layer style dialog and then i will uh, go to the blend if in here and in this uh, layer not uh, the underlying layer i will use this black point in here as you can see if i take this if i just put it a little bit just right here you can see it's actually remove the black background all right so i will just take it a little bit around two and then i'm gonna press alt or option and split this slider in here and this will make it fade but it's okay we're gonna fix that later so i will take it around 120 because i don't want any black edges to be shown in the and actually in the in the wings so i can just take it around 80 until i, I see that there is no black black color in here so around 70 it will be good and i'll press ok and now i can preview my video in here i think it looks good all right now to remove this container in here we're gonna use actually the a layer mask so i will one click on this layer mask icon and this will apply a layer mask i can and i can just use it like any other layer i will bring a brush and i will make sure that the opacity is set to 100 and the flow to 100 and i can just delete like that all right all right now we need to fix the eyes as you can see the eyes also disappeared because uh, the eyes were black and they disappeared because of the blend if option in here all right to fix uh, the, the eyes we're gonna make a, a copy of it or duplicate the video so i'm gonna take it and make a copy of it and then i will uh, double click on this uh, copy and uh, open the layer style dialog and then i will uh, actually bring down the fade of it to normal because we're gonna use the a brush to actually bring back everything in here that we want to bring back so i will press ok and then i will actually change the the layer mask to black by pressing alt backspace because i already have black as a foreground color now we can just select uh, the layer mask and using white as my foreground color because white reveal when the the layer mask is black i can just zoom in and using a brush i can bring back all the details that i want to bring for example i can bring more of the face if i want but be careful don't go to the edges or you know make the opacity softer and just bring back all the the places that it won't be visible outside of the bird for example you can bring more color to the bird in here and also i want to bring back this in here so i will just hide this part and reveal this part all right something like that i think it looks nice all right cool now we're almost done we only need to apply some color adjustments to our video so let me just check that everything is good 
All right, now I will uh, actually select these two videos in here by pressing Ctrl and one click because we only have two layers. And then I'm gonna press Ctrl or Command G and this will put them in a group. And uh, I will change actually the, the blending mode of this group to normal because I want only the adjustment to be applied on whatever inside the group. So if you change the group blending mode to, to normal instead of pass through, it will only apply whatever out inside this group in here. So let's call this Hummingbird. And I press enter. Now I want to apply a... I think I'm gonna apply a hue and saturation to bring a little bit the color more. So let's go to adjustments and choose hue and saturation. And then I will take the saturation and put it up. It's a little bit. And I can also play with the hue if I want. So I think green looks good. Maybe I will saturate it a little bit or make it a little bit blue or turquoise in here. All right, so something like that. I think it looks good. Now we'll go back to adjustments again. And this time I will go to exposure or actually I will go to brightness and contrast because I want to bring the contrast more. And then I will just put the brightness up. Maybe I think I will put it down around minus 15 or 12. And I will put the contrast a little bit to around 20 and see how it looks like. As you can see, as I said, because I have the group set to normal, it will only affect the adjustments, will only affect whatever on inside the group. It won't affect what's outside. Alright, I think this is good. So now we can go ahead and render our video. If you want to add more details, you can do that. But I think for me, it looks nice. Actually, let's play it one, one time and then render it. So I'm gonna press on the space bar to play it. Alright. As you can see, it looks really nice. So let's see if it's looping very good. All right, I think this is really cool. Now we can go ahead and render our video. So let's stop this. And to render it, you can just one click on this arrow in here, or you can go to File, Export, and choose Render Video. But I like just to press on this arrow in here and this will open the, the same window very quick. Alright, so let's call this looping bird. And then you can select uh, a folder or a place where we want to save it by one click on this select folder. I already have the folder in here set, so I will choose select folder. And then in the, in the format, you can uh, keep it H. Point two hundred sixty-four. If you can, if you don't have it in here, just select it, and in the presets, make sure it's in high quality, not medium or, or low, and uh, the the resolution it should be the same. And uh, thirty frame per second, it's good. And press render. Now we will wait for it to render. All right, so our rendering is done. It might take a little bit of time depending on uh, your image size or your video size. So let's go ahead and actually play the video, which is right in here. So let's open it and let's see. All right, so as you can see, it looks really nice and it will loop forever and you can publish it on Instagram or wherever you want. Alright, so I hope that you enjoy and you like uh, this uh, follow-up tutorial and uh, it was a little bit helpful for you. If you tried this, make sure to let me know on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. I have all the link down in the description below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment and wait for more exciting tutorials to come. And have a nice day. Thank you for watching.